Ready? Oh, I'm scared. The soldiers are that scared, they're shaking. Oh, they split up into groups. Right, charge! For the mighty kingdom! Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So we are playing some kingdoms and castles. And I saw this game on the Steam Market. And I was like, I've got to get this game because I noticed that it has a creative mode. So Kingdoms and Castles is a bit like Stronghold 2, um, The Settlers, Age of Empires, and I don't know, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator all had a love child. So this is going to be a really cool game and I can't wait to get into it. So anyway, this game looks really cool because I saw that it has a creative mode which you currently, currently can't see at the moment because of this big black box but... If we click new right here, we can go straight into creative mode, which is a bit like a map editor. And for those of you that know me on this channel, I love my map editors. Anything where I can play God, I, I, I just, I buy it. Just you, you had me at map editor. So this is going to be great. And the graphics isn't that, is not that good to be honest. But to be honest, I do like this sort of graphics. It is simple yet effective. And you can see the, the clouds and you can see the trees. And it's going to be such a cool game. This is going to be really good. So we're going to go, go ahead and look at the map settings. We've got a large random. I think we're going to we're going to go ahead and change that. I think we're going to go for a nice, uh, I don't know. Should we go medium to begin with? And then we're going to go for islands. Let's go for islands. In fact, we'll go large. Large islands. And we're going to generate that. How does, how does one generate it? We can, Oh, we can add to it as well. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. We can actually add to the map. So we're going to add some rocks and we can make it look cool. Oh, th we can generate seeds. Um, this will do for now. We're just going to see see what we can do with the game. Because I've heard that we can make some ultra big cities. And we can also have some pretty epic battles. So let's go ahead and accept that. And I've went ahead before starting this video. And I've made my own banner. So you can choose your own banner. But I've went and made the Mighty Nation banner. So let's go ahead and call our nation. Our kingdom, should we say. The Mighty Nation. In fact, no, we'll go to the Mighty Kingdom. That'd be pretty cool. So, the Mighty Kingdom. We're going to have to go capital letters with the Mighty. I don't know why. It just looks more mighty, doesn't it? So, there we go. The Mighty Kingdom. And we'll do Kingdom in lowercase. Not Kingdom. Kingdom. There we go. So, we have our banner. And let's go ahead and click Accept. So, here we go. We're on our map. This looks so cool. I mean, just, just look at it. The graphics is so cool. I mean... I'm not really sure how to play this game yet because this is the first time I've loaded it up. But I'm going to go ahead and go into creative mode. And I'm going to go ahead and tickle these boxes. So we're going to go build for free. We're going to have a bit of that. We're going to have must build in territory. That doesn't sound really good. We'll go villagers die of starvation. We don't want that yet. Villagers eat. No, we're going to get rid of that. Let's get rid of all of those. Because we don't want any plagues, random fires, viking attacks, dragon attacks. We want to see what the game's about. So we're going to go... Is it raining? Oh wow, that's so cool. I wonder if it floods. That'd be pretty neat. So we're going to go ahead now and look what we can build. So we've got different things here. We've got villages. Is that a troll? We have Vikings. And we do have some knights that have have little armies with them. So let's go ahead and place down a castle to begin with. So we're going to build our keep right here. So where should we build it? In the center, you think? Oh, we're going to build it away from that troll. So let's explore the map a little bit. So this looks like a nice little place on the edge right here. So we're going to centerize the keep. Beautiful, beautiful sound. Um, we're going to go for a nice uh, great hall. Where should we put this? Can we rotate? Click the middle mouse button or press R to rotate the building. Oh, there we go. That's cool. So we're going to go ahead and put this... I don't know. Should we put it behind? Put it behind. Let's see if we can make ourselves a little castle to def defend. And um, then we're going to go town. Oh, there's, there's so much to pick from. Cottages, manors, churches. Go back to the castle first, though. Chamber of War. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's go for a nice chamber of war. We're going to connect it to the keep. And it instantly just made the keep huge. Oh, we've got a little settler there. Can we see his name or anything? No, he has no name. He's just doing his daily duties, my lord. Right, so I think we're going to... I'm just going to delete that quick. And I'm going to try... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think they were having their dinner or something. I disturbed them. Right, so I'm going to go to the castle. I'm going to add the Great Hall to the keep. Just to make it look a bit more... That looks better. That looks so much better. And now we're going to go to a wall. Can we find... Oh, no, it's a treasure room. Need a bit of that. 
So the aim of the the aim of this video is just to explore this game really, and do let me know in the comments if you want to see any sort of scenarios that we can make. Um, if if you guys want to build any maps yourselves as well and send them my way, we could play. We could, I could play them for you, and yeah, it just it looks really cool. Whoa, it just got bigger. So. Anything with a map editor, if there's any games out there with a map editor, do throw them in the comment section. I'll be sure to check them out. Because from a lot of you that have watched my channel, you can see that I'm a huge fan of the Gem 2 engine, which is a kind of a it's like an all-in-one map editor for Men of War. And anything with a map editor, I just love it so much. So what we're gonna go for now, we need a stone gate. Now we need a we need a wall first. Um let's go for Actually, if we place the gate, then we can build the wall around it. So I'm going to stop them from getting in right there. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to go for... I wonder if the wall's in town. No, nothing in town. It's got to be in castle. A moat. I don't think we need a moat. Oh, it's gone to winter. Look at that. It's winter. What does that mean? Keep advisors. Click on an advisor to hear their counsel. Oh, okay, this is pretty cool. He looks just like Henry VIII. Oh, we'll click on him. Sire, no one is available to build our new construction. You can move the builder jobs to higher priority or close existing buildings to free up workers. That, that's really cool. I like this. I, I've got a feeling I'm going to enjoy this game. Good day, sire. Good day, sire. <laughs> we'll need farms first to feed our workers. Yeah, for sure. I want to build the castle first because we have unlimited money. So I'm going to build the hell out of this castle. If I can find the wall, that is. So wood castle block. So I think it's something to do with this. Oh, if we just place them on top of each other, that's how we do it. Oh, what have we done? Oh, I'm building that in front of it, no wonder. So, we'll just place that there. Oh, that is so cool, look at that! We can't put build it in the water. Making some sort of super tower here. I'm really looking forward to seeing if we can defend this castle or not. Right, we're going to just build this in a diagonal way. This takes me right back to the old days of Age of Empires 2. Apart from this is better. I, I, there's something about the graphics. I don't know what it is. It just looks really cool. So we're going to move this over here. Oh, what have we done? No, that's fixable. There we go. Move in, move out of the way, tree. Oh, he's not having it, so we're just going to build around it, I guess. You know, the tree got the better of us. Now we're going to build some walls over here as well. Make it super high there. Super high there. Yeah, this wall is going to look dreadful. I think I'm going to go over it after and make it all the same size. Then at least we've got our shell. We've got our shell of the castle then. So I'll move you over here. It's looking pretty beautiful. Really looking forward to seeing the battles. I've not actually seen them yet. This is literally the first time I've loaded this game up. Other than to just like see if it worked on my PC. Uh oh. We've used and we have a problem. Sire, there is a tree in the way. All right, how do we do this? Chop. Oh, okay. There we go. We're chopping the trees. I think we need to build something. Let's build some stuff so they can actually chop the trees down. Um, oh, he's on his way, look. Oh, look. No, where's he gone? Oh, look. Look at my cute little villager. Look at him. It's, it kind of reminds me of Minecraft as well. God, this, this is like... It's like this game has so many parents. So what have we got? We've got the Settlers, we have Stronghold 2, we have Age of Empires. It's like we have Minecraft, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, all rolled into one. So let's go ahead and build some cottages. Yeah, there we go. I want to rotate that, there we go. So we'll have you there. And we have another one just there. Yeah, that could be like Terrace. There we go. I want to have you going that way around. It's going to be my city. It's going to look very beautiful when it's done. Got some more over here. Try and keep the road free. Keep it realistic. When I get a bit more used to this, could you imagine the cities we could make? This would be really cool. Oh, look, they're building some wood. It's starting to snow again. So let's get some manors. That's pretty cool. We'll have one on the corner. We'll have another one over here. And what else do we have? Let's have a church. We need, everyone needs a church. A bit of faith. Because you gotta have faith, faith, faith. There we go. Right there. What else should we have? We've got library. Is that a part of the castle? 
It is, so I think we're going to extend the castle, add a bit of a library. Like it at the back. Kind of looks like a back entrance, it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, food. We need some food. A granary. We can't forget the granary. Granary is going to be placed right next to the castle. Just remind me, just like Stronghold 2. And then we're going to go to town. A uh, tavern. There's no town without a tavern, is there? I mean, where else do you go to ab get absolutely wasted? Right there, there we go. Beautiful. Town square. So the town square would be near the entrance, I'm guessing. So we're going to have the town square right there. Like I say, this is just a test. So we're just going to set up a big town and then we're going to, you know, attack it. Lord Levy and Queen Barbara. Uh, okay, so Lord Levy has a big statue. I guess the ring around it is kind of its influence, maybe? Maybe it has an effect on morale or something like that. I think we'll have this thing right at the back right here. It could be facing the... Oh, it had a little whistle there. That was cute. And now we are going to go for a hospital. I'm just slapping everything down here, making our city as big as we can. And as quick as we can as well. Don't want this video to be two hours long. Because it could easily be. Oh, hovel. No, hovel, you don't deserve to be inside the town. You can be outside the town. There we go. You can sit out there. We'll do leave some room for the horses and carts. Beautiful. That's where all the peasants live. The riffraff. And what else do we need? So, maritime, what is that? A pier, a bridge, a drawbridge, a dock. We definitely need a dock. Uh, where can we put you, though? We'll put you there. God, I'm in love with this game already. Look at that. I just love how we can we can zoom right in. Look, you ready? I'll zoom in out there. There we go. Zoomed right in. So it's going to be really cool to see the battles. So do stick around to the end of the video because we're going to be doing a, a really big battle. A really big battle. So, uh, a library, church. I think we've done everything. We need a well because they need to get some water. I think the well can be centralized about there. Oh, look, look at our little villages. Look at them. Oh, I'm so proud. My little mighty nation. Well, my mighty kingdom, should I say. And what else do we have? Let's have a look. Uh, stone bro stone road. Okay, stone bridge. Food. Let's have a look. Nor Noria. What does that mean? Provides water to aqueducts and reservoirs. Okay, we know what we could do with one of these, I guess. Oh, oh, can I not place it? There we go. Oh, it spins. Oh, that's pretty neat. They're instantly going to it for the water. That's cool, then. What else do we need? An aqueduct. There we go. Now, uh, this is this is something cool. And this can go all all around the town. Like Rome. And there is a saying, Rome isn't built in a, in a day, so... We have to take our time with this. Oh, did you see that tree? That tree just grew! Oh, such a cool game. Uh, we're going to move you there. Come on. No, no, what are you doing? No, that, that way. It's like a magnet. Uh, that, there we go, beautiful. Let's go there, and then that's it. Bring it right towards the gate, I think. Or do I, can I connect it to the actual castle itself? There we go. Oh, we can. That's better. Oh, I like that. That's really cool. Look how cool that is. Maybe we could... Be, is that a boat? Oh, hi there. There's boats and everything. That's not a Viking, is it? No, in my luck, they're just going to pull up and raid us. Oh, they're doing something. I think we're, I'm going to place some soldiers down. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Not too sure how we're going right here. What am I doing? Go away. Merchant. Oh, it's a merchant. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, it's going to the dock. So what's that doing then? I oh, look, you could see them. Making their little business transactions. So, like I say, game will be in the description. So if you guys want to buy this game, definitely recommend it. It looks really fun. And even though it's the first time I've played it, I'm hooked already. This is going to be insane. It's such a stress relief as well. It's just something about the being able to zoom out and, you know, play God. You know, it's just it's stress relieving. And let's try and place down some soldiers. So we can see here that Vikings don't attack yet, which is a good sign. But I'm going to place down some Vikings. But first, let's fill up our town full of villagers. There we go. Look at them. There's so many. And they're going to go and do all their day-to-day -day jobs. Oh, they're happy. My little villagers are happy. That's so cool. We're not placing any dragons. That's a bad idea. But we'll see what they what they do later. 
Um, we're going to place down some soldiers to protect us. So let's get a mini army. So mini army, gather in the square. Yes, my lord. There we go. Oh, that's quite a big army, to be honest. So if I keep clicking, we've got like a mean, a mean general. Does he have a name or anything? What? Why is my? Where's my mighty kingdom sign? Oh, he must not have done it for some reason. So here we go. What is this? Oh, it is called the Mighty Kingdom. I just don't think it's added the flag. But we'll definitely sort that out for another video. That's if you guys want to see another video on this. Look at that. Look at our little, little army. They look like the army of Gondor with their little pointy hats. Look. Uh, they're a bit hyper. They've just they've drunk too many energy drinks. That's what it is. <laughs> they're eager for battle. And that is Sir Lancelot. Okay, this is going to be cool. So we've got an army now. And it is thunder and lightning. That's pretty cool. So what we're going to go for now. We don't need a moat really. Like, we just want to see a big ass battle. We need balisters on the wall though. Oh, there's a building on fire. They just destroyed. It's alright. That belongs to the peasantry. Who cares about them? That's the, mo the main focus is inside the town. So I have one of you on there. Uh, what else do we need? We'll have another one on there. Must be built on top of castle walls. I was going to say I was aiming for the castle wall. I have another one of you there. Another one of you there. It's like a coastal defence, isn't it? So instead of a castle, this is more like a port. More like a city port or something. They're pretty neat. And I think that's enough ballisters, I think. We do need to stop a uh, sea invasion, though. But this should do for now. And we don't want to journey into the Badlands. This is beyond the wall. Beyond the Great Ice Wall. A bit like from Game of Thrones. Uh, so what we're going to place now, I'm wondering what to place. Uh, we definitely need some more defences before we do this attack. So I think an archer tower, that's going to fit perfectly. So let's go you there. You there. Oh god. Look at the clouds. So the clouds actually like hover above and... Uh, can you see them? They're actually swelling up like they're being evaporated. Like they're evaporating the water. That's so cool, there's little birds flying around as well. So we'll go for you just there. Brilliant. We'll have you there. I don't know, they're kind of like Shogun temples, aren't they? Very Japanese style. Oh, can I not place any more? Why can't I place any more? Archer Tower. There we go. Oh, I must have clicked off it or something. There we go. We'll have as many Archer Towers as we can. Them guys must be freezing. They're going to go rusty in the rain. So, castle again. Last couple of Archer Towers. Then we're going to do a big attack. See how long we last. So let's go for it. No, get away. Oh, can't select it. No, go away. There we go. So first of all, we're going to place down... Should we go for a dragon? Let's go for a dragon first. There we go. Oh, dragon sighted. Is he coming? Here he comes. Attack the dragon. Look at him go. I hope he doesn't destroy my whole base. I've, I've never tested this, so... I, he could be like super OP and just like destroy my whole castle. But he's very small. I can't I can't see him doing much damage. Oh, he's flying away. Yeah, he's not having it. He's like, screw you guys. <laughs> I just want some friends. Yep, screw you, dragon. We don't need you. What's this little uh, thing right here? Is it, mm -hmm. Sire, no one is available to build our new construction. You can move the builder jobs to higher... Pro I know that, I know that, but I don't need construction, do I? Because this is a map editor, and we do not need you to construct buildings, my friend. But thank you, my royal advisor. What is that? There's nobody to man them, is there? Well, that can be easily remedied with uh, some more villages, I believe. Uh, where's the villages gone? Uh, there we go. More villages incoming, sir. Go on, my lord. Man them. Uh oh, now they need more homes. God damn it. I've been on this game five minutes. I'm already up to my neck in homeless people. God. Right, so... Town and cottage. Come here, we're going to build you some cottages. Oh, got a beautiful cottage for you. you. Yeah, you all live together. Your lovely home. We've got some more cottages over here for you guys. And we'll build you a nice estate. This is a nice council estate. Beautiful. You know, in fact, you can have a little square, and this is the rich area. Beautiful. So anyway, we want to attack. The dragon did nothing, but why? why what does that mean? Why? Why can't they do? What's going on here? No gold, with, which to pay soldiers. Right. Okay. I get it. I get it. So the soldiers are like, do you know what? We're on strike. There's clearly a Gondor union or something. 
You know, so we're just going to add gold. I think that's adding gold somehow. Is that doing it? Oh, it is down there. 1,000 out of 1,000. So if we look back over there. Yeah, there we go. They're all manning the towers now. What, why are the civilians manning the towers? Shouldn't it be the soldiers? I don't know. Every man for themselves, you know. Civilian duties. It's a bit like jury duty or something. You've got to do it. So let's do this. Let's, let's go to battle. Let's have a big horde of Vikings approach. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. They're coming, my lord. Alright, I feel sorry for these guys. They're just chilling. Like, they're like, hello, everybody. Like, Vikings. A bit like that thing from uh, King Kingdom Come Deliverance. Of burning the village. Fall back to the keep. Oh, look, the gate. The gate's closed. Oh, they're screaming. I, feel, I kind of feel bad now. Oh, that's my civilians. It's not the Vikings. Civilians doing their best. I think our castle walls are holding up, though. Our beautiful coastal fort. Unfortunately, we did lose the peasantry. But, you know, we can always rebuild their homes. So we need to house our new, our new peasants. Don't worry. The mighty nation always thinks about their peasantry. Let's go for the town, and we're going to go for some uh, hovels. We'll get you some more hovels, don't you worry. We'll get you a nice uh, estate of hovels right here to live in. They're happy now. They're more than happy. Yeah, Not knowing that I'm going to spawn a crap ton more air vikings any moment now, with a couple of dragons just to back them up. So, there we go. All is going well. Is that a fire? What does this do then? If we... Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. No. Oh, God, it's spreading. Snow. I hope the snow puts it out. Yeah, oh, no. They're getting actual water. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're throwing little blocks of Minecraft water on them. Oh, that's so cool. Right, what do we have here? So, we're going to have the... We're going to have a general over here. You, my, my son. What's your name? What's his name? Sir Anselmus. You are tasked with defending the city. So, we're sending you out to um, take care of any Viking scum. Right, so I'm going to add some more men to you. Right, there we go. So, uh, if we click on him like that. There we go, look. Beautiful. So, we're sending an army of soldiers out. Uh, so, we're going to go and meet the Vikings. And the Vikings are gathering right over here. They've just landed right over here, look. Uh, they've landed right there, and they're, they're coming for us. So we've gathered an army right outside the walls. Sir Anselmus, we can do this. Ready? Oh, I'm scared. The soldiers are that scared, they're shaking. Oh, they split up into groups. Uh, charge! For the mighty kingdom! Oh. Where are they going? No! No! You've missed them! Wrong way! We're attacking the walls! It's okay, they're all sliding across the ice. Oh, these Vikings just aren't giving up, are they? No match for my king kingdom, though. My, my mighty kingdom. So, let's spawn. Let's end this video by placing down so many troops that it's going to be a challenge to take them out. So, let's go ahead and click off that creative mode. And, we'll get a, should we get some dragons as well? Is that a red dragon? What's that one? We'll go for one of you. Dragon sighted. Okay, and then there's going to be an army of Vikings approaching. And we're talking a lot here. We're going to do thousands. Let's see if we can make this game lag. Oh, here we go. That's going to be good. That's going to be... Oh, God. I just pressed the backspace and it sent me there. All right. Oh, here they come. They're going to finish off the hovels. Oh, no wonder it's on fast mode. We've just been playing the whole game on fast mode. That's kind of slow, though, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm going to put it on medium to fast mode. There we go. That's a bit better. Oh, no. The running... He was happy. That he was being chased by Vikings. So is he. They're like, yeah, I'm contempt. I don't care. You know, my family's just been killed, but I don't. I don't really care. 
There's our army stopping them from coming on the flank. The great mighty warriors. What should the what should the mighty nation soldiers be called? The merchants are like, no, I'm not having any of that. I think you should tell me in the comments what we should call the mighty soldiers. Can't really see much though, can you? They're really going at the wall now. Luckily, we do have an army ready to go to battle. So we're going to deploy his lordship, Sir Lancelot. We're going to deploy him right near the square. So we can defend against these Viking scum. Look, look at them all. There's hordes of them waiting outside. Are they stealing my supplies? Those cheeky little bandits. Vikings invading. Towers are doing rather well. Merchant has arrived. We don't really care though, do we? You know, the Vikings have completely wiped out my lord over here. Sir Anselmus, his last stand. His glorious last stand. Can he do it? <laughs> Look at him. His little, his little pointy hat. Oh, he's not going to last long. 300 health. We still have some troops left, though. Let's see if we can pull them back. Come on, Sir Ansel. Retreat. Fall back. Live another day. There's still a handful of soldiers left as well. Followed by Vikings, though. But we're taking them out with arrows. Now, this is where they get the shock of their life. Sir Lancelot, blow your horn. There we go. No, don't you dare. Yeah, okay, so just, they just set fire to my buildings. Okay, civilians get water. They're doing their job. Civilians doing a really good job. Do you know what? I'm actually really enjoying this game. So if you guys do want to see more of this, do let me know. Because if you guys enjoy watching it, I enjoy playing it. Honestly. Okay, so they're going to put out those fires anyway. And I think we're doing okay out here. I'm thinking we might take the army outside to meet them now. See if we can actually uh, draw, drive them away. That dragon didn't do much, did it? Shooting the arrows down. Do they have names themselves? I don't think they do. Oh, isn't he? He has names. Jason. Do they all have names? Oh, Vlad, Vladir Winters. Oh, here comes our, here comes our soldiers. Look, here we go. Pushing through. But like the war at Troy. They had a big battle outside. Oh, that'd be a really good battle to recreate in this. The Battle of Troy. Right, there's a bit, there's a bit of a truce right here. They're kind of looking each other in the eye and they're like, Turn away! Be gone! Uh, with them they charge. A heroic defeat. That's if he does die. I think we're going to bring out some reinforcements because we do have a lot of men back here as well. Reinforcements are on the way. The whole main army, look. Over there. Here they come. Marching through the castle gates. Anytime now. Not that they need much help though, look. I hate it how these things keep popping up. I know the soil is fertile. But it is snowing. I don't want to plant any oranges. Then again, do you plant oranges? Not really something you commonly plant, is it? Potatoes. I don't want to plant potatoes. And to save the day comes Sir Lancelot. And there you go, my friends. We lived happily ever after. I don't think there is anything else we can do apart from torture our own troops by setting fire to buildings and oh, upping the job priorities, builders. But we don't have anything really because we didn't we didn't really build this city from scratch. We kind of cheated with the map editor. But never mind. Hey, we can up so up the tax rate. That's probably not a good idea though because they'll get angry at me and revolt, and we don't want that. So anyway. I think that's about it for this for this video. If you do want to see more, let me know in the comments. Also, subscribe and join the Mighty Kingdom. Or, or Mighty Nation, whatever you want to call it. And, yeah, I will see you all in the next one.